In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to set up your Facebook Pixel. Your Facebook Pixel is necessary for you to be able to target rights or to retarget people that showed some level of interest in the product you are promoting. As a matter of fact, if you don't have Facebook Pixel on your landing page, you are wasting money because you won't be able to target right facebook won't be able to actually detect people that are really interested in what you are promoting so i want to show you how to install your facebook pixel now at the end of this video you will learn how to install your conversion api and meta pixel and it will be active like this without wasting your time let's get started in our previous video i showed you guys how you can create a free website using system.io and that is the website we'll be using to create our facebook pixel in this particular video okay so this is our website we'll be using this to create our pixel then we also created this campaign in one of our previous videos where i created a campaign on page like on engagement and it was yesterday and within 24 hours we have gotten 158 followers so right now i want to change the campaign i want to switch over to awareness objective but before awareness i need facebook pixel so that some people will definitely be going to my website i need to track them and that is why i am creating facebook pixel now let's get into it properly so what you do is go to your that particular account and go to all tools Go to Event Manager. Make sure you are on that particular account, on that particular ad account. Then you are going to click Connect Data. You come here. Let's refresh it. You can see that there's nothing here now. Let's see. Connect data. Okay. Now, what you do is select web. Then click next. Give your pixel a name. Revit. Expert Pixel. Click Create. So you are going to get a website. Simply go there. Go to your system.io if that is the one you are using. That is not the one you are using. Just go to your website and grab the URL. And for system.io, click on this on your profile icon. Then you go to settings. You go to custom domain. And this is your URL. This is your URL. Simply grab it, then go to where you are and paste it here. Then click check, click next. Okay, so now, okay, what we are seeing here is use conversion API recommended. Okay, let's use that because with conversion API 
your server will be able to send data to Facebook. So let's use conversion API. Let's click next. Okay, now we are going to set up manually. Let's use manual setup. Click next. Then click continue lead. Okay, 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 okay. Let's select something else. Let's say professional service. Uh huh. With professional service, you see that you have lead. Let's use lead pushes contacts initiate checkout these are the most important things that we need that is one two three four five six six of them have been selected then click continue click continue now what you do now is you are going to select them one by one now we are on add to cart now the first one then you see that best practices check this event id check ip check um city phone zip gender state date of birth at the moment this thing turn if you check it well you see that this thing will turn green email address country last name let's check this one also these are the most important thing client ip address you see that this has turned to green now it means correctly done now let's go to the next one which is complete registration event id all those ones we check earlier phone zip code date of birth this gender state country email last name you see that best practices have been checked go to the next one event id client ip address first name city phone zip code date of birth click id gender state country email last name you see that that is correct on contact now okay contact is done complete registration is done let's go to initiate checkout let's check this clients let's not forget event id city first name form zip code date of birth click id gender state country email last name and here we go let's go to lead client ip address first name phone zip code date of birth click id gender state country email address last name don't forget event id and that is all for that then let's go to purchase event id 
client city first name phone number zip code country email last name date of birth click id gender state and that is all for that best practices is, select, is selected subscribe subscribe okay first name phone number zip code date of birth clients click id gender country email last name don't forget event id you see best practices is selected is green don't forget clients don't forget event id city first name phone number zip code date of birth click id gender state country email last name here we go okay so we have done for all now then at this point we'll click continue you can see all those one we have done then click continue again okay now here we are going to click open implementation guide let's click get started then we click on generate access token we are going to copy this okay so we have copied our access token we are going to go to our system.io now you go to your profile other setting go to custom domain then come here go to setting scroll down to where you see facebook conversion api paste your access token here then you are going to go to that same place let's click finish okay now that we have finished it you can see your facebook pixel id here you can copy from here right click and copy then you come to your system.io you are going to paste that pixel id here then click save and that is it you are almost set you are still going to go back click overview okay let's click continue select metapixel copy use manual then copy this code come to your system.io then come to your funnel your sales funnel this one then come to your squeeze page click edit for this url change the url to something else let's say something that is more meaningful if i click empty space now it is done so that will be our url for our squeeze page okay so 
I click edit. Okay, we are going to customize this one later. But for now, let's go straight to installing our pixel from now. So you go here, you go to setting, then you are going to go down. You go down to tracking. Then you are going to edit header code. Okay, so come come to above style where you have this style outside of it you see don't put it in between the style just somewhere outside okay, i even press enter uh -huh. somewhere here outside the style don't put it within the style then you are you are going to use ctrl v to paste it okay this is our facebook pixel click save that is it so we still go further on this particular page we'll be tracking what are you tracking on this particular page we'll be tracking view content okay so we track view content let's save changes let's exit from this page now on thank you that is after people have obtained their detail their email address that is thank you that is where we'll be tracking lead for anyone that have entered his detail has become our lead so we are going to select this as our template then we will have a custom url for it let's say thank you thank you and click empty space is done then we we'll click edit page and go to setting scroll down to where you have tracking click edit header the same way we did the other time press enter use your arrow key to go up a little bit then paste the pixel code there and click save then on this page we'll be tracking lead so you are going to go down to lead and click save and that is it your facebook pixel has been set up so that is how you can set up your facebook pixel and facebook conversion api let's click continue let's turn on automatic turn on automatic advanced machine and click continue then click go to overview Okay, now let's go to overview. Let's go here. Let's select that particular pixel, this one. Now, if you go to this drop down, you see that there is a notification here which means that there is something that is needed to be fixed and if you go to overview let's go to overview you see custom event can't be used with add feature review your custom event to make sure that they are from your business and follow our terms okay so you need to review these and make sure you are on the proper account and on the proper pixel then tap on review then it's a question of hitting i acknowledge this one always happen when you are using system.io so you are going to check this and click 
on this check this then click next let's look at the all this okay this one is there's nothing to check there ensure you have selected that particular pixel and click next then what can what you can do confirm the custom event block the custom event we are going to confirm select it then confirm and you see success done okay you can see one confirmed okay that is it okay so you have successfully confirmed it now now let's refresh it now if we refresh it this notification would have gone now you see that not that notification is no longer there which means is connected you can see connected waiting for activities okay let's go to data source url let's go to this url and see whether it will be now we can grab the url for our squeeze page let's close this one for now the url for this okay let's copy it let's go to open event up event setup to paste the url here click open if you see this it means that your facebook pixel is correctly set up okay so you can even track all this button if you want but this actually show us that this is correctly set up if you even view our pixel helper now you see that see the pixel the pixel id that is here can you see ensure you install this pixel helper meta pixel helper on your chrome so that it can help you to detect whether your facebook pixel is firing or not if it's not firing you won't see this okay now let's confirm the id the id the meta pixel id end with 7489 let's go to our event let's click let's close this one for now let's go to pixel overview you can see that particular pixel is showing that it's correctly set up you can see the same id that is showing there can you see this end with 7489 and if you come here you come to our sales funnel okay you can see the pixel id is showing that it's firing let's refresh it Okay, can you see that that same pixel okay so that is how you can install facebook pixel on system.io 
you have also learned how to install conversion api let's wait for some time before we come back so that it can propagate properly after some minutes when i came back and refresh the page and go to overview you will see that we have two active integration now and if i click on this you see that we have conversion api we have meta pixel and both of them are active so we are ready to start running ad now